Hello everyone, welcome to this session. Uh, today let's discuss uh further this uh natural environment. Uh, in a previous video, we discussed the uh the concept of this the natural environment. Uh, we saw the main components of the natural environment. We said that there are two of them: the biotic uh components, which are the living components of the natural environment, and the abiotic environments which are the non-living components of the environment. So today, let's further discuss uh, about this, the abiotic uh, components. Uh, the abiotic components, these include all the non-living organisms that are found in the ecosystem. Example, when you talk about the air, solar energy, uh, soil and nutrients. So these are the abiotic components. Generally, the abiotic components of an ecosystem consists of the physical environment and the as follows. The first one are uh, the climatic factor. So this is the first uh, of for these abiotic components, which are the uh, uh, the non-living uh, components within the ecosystems. So several change of the climatic conditions are uh, the influence or they determine the survival of the organisms in the ecosystem. Such conditions they include as the temperature, humidity, pressure, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So all these are some of the uh, the conditions that it can have some kind of the impact to the living uh, living components within the environment or within the ecosystem. Moving on, the second one is aquatic condition changes in the aquatic environment in the natural in the nature of the environment. It is uh, itself uh, determined by the type of the organism found in the area, such as the changes include uh, the water current, wave action, salinity, etc. So these various changes are, are like the water current, wave action, salinity, they can also determine the type of the organisms uh, that are found within the given area. So here we are seeing these various abiotic components, these non-living components, how they can be uh, uh, influencing the living components, which are the biotic components. The third one is the right condition factor. Uh, this affects uh, much uh, plant population. Uh, this is a light condition factor uh, where the photosynthesis, uh, photosynthetic uh, process depend on the availability of the light. Uh, so the availability of the light will also determine the uh, uh, the how the process of photosynthesis is to take place. Uh, so in such a way, it will also determine the population of the plants, which depend on the uh, photosynthesis uh, process just to produce their own food. The other abiotic components, the soil factor or such condition, uh, these are also adaptable factors and they include, the, they include as the soil texture, the soil structure, and the soil pH. So these are some of the uh, abiotic components and how they can influence the various biotic components, which are the living components within the ecosystem or the environment. Now, let's see the importance of the natural environment. If I want some of them, uh, here we'll see various uh, importance of various natural environment, which you have, we said the natural environment are the living and the non-living components that exist uh, within our, our surroundings and how they can impact us. So let's see the importance. The first one is the source of food to the organisms. So the natural environment, the source of food to the various organisms within the environment, uh, as it provides uh, various, uh, uh, these, Take an example, the abiotic components, they provide conditions to obtain the various food that are necessary for the survival of the various organisms. The second one, it provides shelter and security for the organism. For the organisms, the natural environment uh, is there as an habitat for the various organisms, or yes, it provides shelter and security for the organisms to survive within the given area. The third one that it allows living and non-living things to interact. So the natural environment is the main place or main site for the interaction between the living and the non-living things within the surrounding. And last but not least, it provides an appropriate setting for the organisms to reproduce and increase in number. So natural environment is there as the main uh, influence uh, to facilitate or to provide the uh, appropriate setting or site for the organisms just so they can reproduce and they can increase in their numbers. So that's all I have for this session. I hope that's all okay. I've discussed about the abiotic components, which are the non-living components within the 
environment. We have seen some of them and we have later on discussed the, uh, the various importance of the natural environment uh, to various organisms and in our environment. Thank you.